Alrighty, so this is how you enable True HDR on your Legion Go 2. And uh, Lenovo has made it really hard to enable HDR. And uh, not sure why, but uh, True HDR is uh, pretty hard to turn on this thing. So uh, that's why I have made this video. And uh, I will be showing you guys how to enable it. So first things first, you're going to change your screen brightness to exactly 43. 43. 43%. Exactly that. And uh, no clue why, but uh, some guy on Reddit said that that's what you need to have on uh, to uh, enable true HDR, I guess, once you have all of the settings that I will show you how to enable. If you turn this more or less, you want to have true HDR. I mean, HDR will still be uh, enabled, but you want to have true HDR. So for true HDR, have it on exactly 43%. And uh, then you can go into settings, go into Windows Update and check for updates. And uh, you will just have to check for updates, I guess. Yeah, check for absolutely all updates. That's not really important, but up update everything. Also go into advanced options, optional updates, update everything here too. Then you can go into Legion Space. If you don't have Legion Space, install Legion Space. And we'll also check for drivers here, making sure that we have the newest drivers because those are really important for HDR to work properly on this screen. Let's say it like that. Now let's go into settings, disks and drives, check for updates. And boom, yeah, as you can see, I have updated everything already, but uh, you need to update absolutely everything. And once you have done that, you can just end task, then you can go into settings, go into system, go into display, and we're gonna start with the brightness. Just take this down and then turn off, change brightness automatically when lighting changes, turn that off change brightness based on content. Also turn that off because it will mess with your brightness slider. And uh, for true HDR, you need to always keep it at 43. Night light off, color profile that we will be fixing soon, but not yet. Now enable HDR and then press on HDR. Here you will go down, yeah. HDR, turn off HDR when my PC is running on battery to help save power, turn that off because we always want HDR, even if it's unplugged. Always HDR video streaming, even when HDR is off. Yes, uh, auto HDR, also turn that on. Yes, because it will make uh, games that are SDR into HDR. HDR content brightness, I have just that on zero. And once you've done that, you can just left click on your screen, or is it right click? Right click on your uh, desktop screen and then go into AMD software and then go into gaming, go into graphics and go all the way down here. And you will also have to make sure that 10 bit pixel format is disabled because if you enable this, Windows won't let you enable HDR in system settings. So make sure that you have this off and uh, also, also restart your system if it asks for that. And uh, once you're in here too, you can just reset, uh, reset, I can't even talk today. Reset shader cache, because that will also give you a little more performance in games. Fun fact, just do that sometimes. And then you can go out of here, go into Microsoft Store. There we go. And then you can search up HDR and download this right here, Windows HDR calibration. And uh, since I already have that downloaded, I can just open, open, get started. And here you will just have to make sure that everything, or you can't see these lines. So let's just go all the way here. Yeah, until you can't see it. Next, and till you can't see the lines here too. Completely gone, there we go. Mine was at how much? Still see them, can still see them. Can I still see them? I can still see them a little. 
1600. I think that's what I should keep it at. Boom, 1600. Boom, that is completely calibrated now. Press on next. Also make sure that these lines are completely gone. How much do I need this on until the lines are completely gone? 50? Mm, I think I can still see them a little. 1700, yeah, completely gone. Now, press on next. I want more HDR, of course, why not? Can't say more, yeah, there's a big difference. More. Next, and then you can also call this 43% true HDR. And enter, finish, and boom, now you have true HDR. And now when you run games, make sure that you are running them in full screen, exclusive full screen, not windowed full screen, exclusive full screen or just full screen. It's the same thing. And uh, yeah, you can now just restart and uh, you're ready to game with true HDR. And if you want more brightness or less brightness, you can change that, I guess, but you won't have true HDR. But HDR will now be active and uh, HDR will now be active. So that's how we do that. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. More videos on the Legion Go 2 soon or already out, really. I'll also throw up how to get more performance on the Legion Go 2. Goodbye.